Hi, my name is Brad Wilson. I am from Davis County, District 15. I live in Kaysville and represent West Kaysville, West Layton, and Syracuse. Uh, I own a company called Destination Homes. We're a residential home builder uh, throughout Northern Utah. And the reason that I ran for the legislature uh, last year was uh, I've got a lot of passion around uh, a number of issues that are important uh, to the state right now. You know, we've seen the federal government kind of veer off into a pretty dangerous uh, territory. And uh, with $14 trillion in national debt, I had some commitment to make sure that we didn't make those same mistakes uh, here in Utah. Uh, my background, of course, is in business. I also spent some time in economic development work, uh, both as chair of the Davis Chamber of Commerce and chair of the Davis Economic Advisory Council. Uh, our mission in both of those organizations was to create and foster a real healthy economic and business climate uh, so that we had good paying jobs for the folks of Utah. This uh, experience here as a freshman has been uh, one of the most memorable things that I've ever had. Uh, I really enjoy getting to know the people. Uh, there's some people that are very dedicated to what we do up here. Uh, ideologically, sometimes I don't always agree with folks, but it's been amazing to me to see how passionate people are and dedicated they are uh, to the people of Utah as well as uh, to the process here in the legislature. And speaking of process, that's probably my second big observation is there's a lot of things to learn. Uh, learning how uh, to run a bill, to get it through committee, to get it through uh, both chambers and then eventually to the governor's office. And uh, it is process intensive uh, and there's a lot of people here that'll help you course correct if you make a mistake, and I have to admit that I've made a few. Uh, and lastly, uh, I just probably want to maybe mention how, how, how honored I am to represent the folks at Utah and what a great experience it's been. So thank you very much.